Now, South Africa has a whole host of sporting heroes, but there's one in particular that just may have escaped your notice. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce you to the almost superhuman world trampoline champion, Bianca Zernikant. Hailing from the friendly city, Bianca Zunikant is a name that all of South Africa and the world will soon come to know as in 2017 she was the first South African to win gold at the Trampoline World Championships in Bulgaria. And here she is. Oh my goodness, that was incredible. Now I see you have the coolest office, but tell me, what was that moment like when you won gold at the championships? It was an incredible moment. I've been chasing the dream for a very long time, since the age of 17, and I finally managed to capture it at the age of 25. So it's been a long time, a lot of training, a lot of hard work, lots of ups and downs, but at the end of the day, we managed to get out there and win it. Competing against gymnasts from all over the world, Bianca won gold in the double mini trampoline discipline, only by making her sport a complete lifestyle. I can only imagine you must spend a lot of time on the trampoline. What does a typical day look like for you? So a typical day is coming in to work. We try for two training sessions in in the day. So we'll do a training session in the morning, training session in the afternoon. In between that I also fetch kids and I coach. So it's a tough day trying to fit in all three and two training sessions and coaching. But I mean it's something that I love and enjoy so it's, it's not even work. It's just going to have some fun in my day. Zoe was in luck. She was getting her first lesson from a world champion with 20 years of experience. Arms down, arms down. And we have a smiley face in the front of the trampoline that you can watch. There we go, very good. And now we're going to lift arms up, legs together. <laughs> okay, now we're going to circle arms up the front. <laughs> Look at the smiley face. Yes! Very good. We had fun on the Olympic trampoline, but this year is the double mini trampoline. This is where Bianca won gold at the World Champs in Bulgaria. So how it works is it requires a run-up, followed by a jump on the trampoline. She'll do a trick in the air, another jump, followed by a trick before landing. So let's check her out in action. Here she comes. Central to Bianca's achievements and perseverance has been her mother, Mandy Zunikant. As a mom, her daughter's coach and the owner of the tumbling and trampoline gym, Mandy has had to carefully manage how she relates professionally and personally with Bianca. I'm sure the two of you have traveled the world together. What is your relationship like? Have you managed to find the balance between coach and athlete and mom and daughter? Well, sometimes it can be stressful, but um, it works hand in hand to produce the top athlete. You need your mother's support and you need a coach's support. So. We've got it all in one nutshell. The only challenge is at a world championship or any competition for that matter is to stand there and your heart's racing and be in control as a mother. It's more stressful as a mother than as a coach. I would say she's more of a, a coach than a mom. And what's it like having your mom as your coach? It's sometimes stressful and difficult because if, say, I want to go out to something, she's like, oh, you're training tomorrow morning. But, I mean, we make it work and, um, yeah, we don't, if we have issues in the gym, we don't bring them home with us. And if we have issues at home, we don't take them to the gym with us. We have a very good relationship and a good balance between the two and we work well together, I think. Winning gold at the World Championships was an even greater triumph for Bianca, considering that she had survived a car accident only three months earlier. I had two broken ribs and a punctured lung and I spent five days in the hospital. So I said six weeks originally for the ribs to heal, but it took a bit longer. And uh, when I went to World Champs, I was still a bit sensitive and sore. So we just played easy on tumbling and I did two easy routines and I uh, finished them nicely. And then somehow I managed to do two good enough routines and put me into the final. Being in the accident was a bit of a setback, but I think things happen for a reason. It was encouraging being able to go into the gym still and coach my kids, and they were asking me all the time, when are you going to train, when are you going to train? So they were encouraging me as well to get back into training, and still being in the gym every day helped a lot. Hopes for the future would definitely be to attend World Cups this coming year and next year and then hopefully at those World Cups I'll have good enough results to try qualify for the next upcoming Olympics in 2020. So that is a major dream and goal that I would really like to achieve alongside with my mom. 
As a strong support system for one another, this mother-daughter coach and athlete duo aim to make the 2018 Trampoline World Championships in Russia and qualify for the 2020 Olympics, when an entire nation will be watching and cheering.